guys, welcome back to Stay Inspired, I'm Rob. In this episode, we're going to be drawing Slender Man, but I've got to be really careful, because it said that if you try and draw Slender Man, he thinks you're trying to contact him. So I've got to keep my guard up. Anyway, here's how it went. To start off this picture of Slender Man, I used a template of six new templates, just to rough out some ideas and sketching some designs that took roughly uh, 20 minutes a piece to do. So it was quite a refined process of trying to find a detailed uh, depiction of the final image I wanted to go for. During my sort of journey through uh, art uh, online, I heard the term line dependency used. And this refers to artists uh, heavily depending on using lines to outline figures and objects. And there's an idea that to create and paint without lines, uh, you get a much softer approach. And I knew that with this Slenderman picture, there would be a much more realistic sort of creepy feel if I didn't use lines which might make the resulting picture look too cartoony. All pictures of Slenderman originate in the woods, so I knew that the woods was probably where I was going to end up going with the final picture. Um, but I also wanted to incorporate um, a little girl, because Slenderman by nature takes children. And I wanted to, again, incorporate that into the final design somehow. So by the time it came to creating the final image, I started off uh, actually by designing the trees first. Again, without using lines, just painting in uh, with colours, actually. Uh, much the same way I have with the uh, Oogie Boogies or the Charizards. Um, it was mainly a case of laying down bases for these objects and then going over with mid-tones and light tones. And then sort of painting in all the details in between. With the trees, this actually came out really nicely. Um, and gave it that sort of texture uh, that you might find on bark and organic objects. Once I had enough trees um, on different layers, I was able to just sort of copy and paste them and move them around to make more of a full area of, of woods or, or more like a forest environment. And another technique that I also carried over was um, to create my own brush of just a simple leaf. And then turning that into a brush um, and being able to multiply that, turn it around uh, horizontally, changing the, uh, the colours and the lights and darks of it. So that when I painted with them as a brush, it created this sort of canopy uh, that seemed uh, random and not too uh, linear. When I was happy with the uh, a general background, it was it was time to create the figures. Uh, I went with a little girl crying. Obviously she's been taken and she's lost and alone in the woods. Feeling very scared and sad. And then Slender Man just stood behind her, reaching out for her. I tried to make all these uh, characters sort of as soft as I could make them but also as detailed as maybe they needed to be. 
So the picture holds a sort of ethereal, soft, really eerie, creepy quality about it. Then it was just a case of adding the, uh, the final elements like his tentacles and the light beams through the trees, again to add a slightly supernatural feel. And I was really happy with the end result. inspired.